now that we have a bit of an intuition on what exactly is multivariate linear regression and what's exactly the equation for it let's look into how the mathematical aspect of this goes on in the back end let's look into the equation once more let's write it out so we have fx is let's take the notion of b b naught b1 x1 b2 x2 b3 x3 and similarly we will be having pn xn so the same notion i have just written over here pn xn now how to change this in the back end part what we do over here is we consider x naught as a matrix of one so s naught is just a matrix is just one nothing more we consider x naught of i as one is equal to one just for the notion okay what this does is it makes things much more easier for us so we can just write b let's denote the complete matrix of b uh, b naught b1 b2 b3 bn t that is the transpose and then x this is equal to fx so that's how the back end part goes on so this is a matrix of b so and this is transported so we have something like this so we have b naught b1 b2 till bn and we have x naught x1 till xn we take this put out in the cost function so let's look into the cost function we have a cost function again and over here we have b naught b1 till bn cost function is again the same thing that is the msc mean square error we are going to take 2m m as starts from 1 well, we have x of i that is for each and every equation and then we have y of i as this is mean square there will be an uh, square over here this is the cost function and our task is to minimize this cost function for that we have our gradient descent which acts uh, it's an iterative optimization algorithm the formula for this is again quite the same thing b of j let's say the assignment operator b of j minus alpha again alpha is nothing but the learning rate it just tells us that how uh, early or how much you want your model to learn from your data Let's write B of J again and then inside of this, let's only write B. Oops. B of J. So that's how our gradient descent formula works. So we at the end have to just update the values of BJ. That is uh, B not B1 till BN. Let's write B not B1 till BN. But then our task is just to find get an algorithm of uh, exactly what we are doing is making our algorithm in a way that we are able to fix the values of this or get uh, the values in a way that we have the best fitting line okay so the cost function formula is again the same if i have to repeat it uh, we have over here is f of x so b of j is equal to b of j minus alpha alpha is the learning rate luckily we don't actually need to write anything of when you are writing out the code because we have our scale and library b of j i've written capital b just to denote our coefficients and then b that's for the gradient descent our primary task is just to minimize this 
you can just write minimize log of minimize okay that's what we do that's it for multiple linear regression it's quite similar as a takeaway if you don't understand the maths behind cost function or gradient descent that's completely fine we have only looked into a soft maths perspective you just have to know that multivariate linear regression means when we have numerous predictors and we have one single target value luckily we don't really have to execute anything we have our sklearn library it will do everything for us 